Hi friends, what's up? So today I will cook a new recipe. Why I say the new? Uh, because the traditional one is have chunks meat. Uh, I don't have, I have minced meat. And they use another kind of herbs. I will use saffron instead for, which can add a lot of good flavors. So here we go. And we start with the rice. In a small pot, put one and a half part of uh, chicken stock to one part of basmati rice. Bring them up to boil and then down to simmer. It will take from six to eight minutes to cook put the lid on it i did then we go to the meatballs 250 grams of meat salt pepper garlic fry them in a pan use a bigger pan than mine because i didn't have another then check your rice after seven minutes my rice was great uh, go back to your meatballs uh, chop one onion add it to the meatballs and saute it together and add a lot of water to that because we're gonna use it in our soup which we call it normally shakriye but this is no, it's not chakri, it's similar to it. So I will use one kilogram of yogurt, one egg, two tablespoons of cornstarch, whisk everything on cold. Ah, remember to add salt and saffron. Usually in Syria we used to add safflower but, uh, or kurtum, but I don't have it. So I just use saffron also because I love the taste of saffron. And uh, yeah, whisk everything to it. Remember to add garlic here, I forgot I added later. You can see it right here and uh, whisk it until it start to bubble then take the meatballs together with the stew and add it to the soup and don't be afraid it will not break at all and after that uh, bring them up to uh, simmer then you're done you just need to make the fried garlic and put it on the top and enjoy it my mom used to do the garlic uh, together with the ghee but sadly i don't have any ghee here so i just use oil if uh, you have uh, butter you can do it with butter i love really this recipe a lot because my mom used to cook it for me every time i go home and it has a lot of good memories and in general, I'm, I'm, I'm a dairy guy. Fortunately, I don't have any problem with the dairy products. So uh, that was the recipe for today. Enjoy it and bon appetit. Stay safe, stay home and take care. Bye.